good welcome back we're still looking at Perth Castle Perth Castle uh, built in the 1400s Thomas Fitzgerald as I said um, Gaslin Port uh, Tree Nevert the um, uh, the castle basically of the three enemies uh, or basically Perth Castle or as others call it Port Renard Castle um, good I already said in an earlier video uh, Port Renard um, basically the hill of the embankment um, so that's basically where it came from um, a very powerful Fitzgerald uh, Earl, the Earls of Desmond basically built it just to control the area um, then Desmond's or uh, the Fitzgerald's being of Norman descent and they wanted to control the area the most pe most people around here would be uh, Gaelic Irish and the Fitzgeralds were new they would try to control the area so that's why they had to build uh, big castles originally uh, perhaps a modern bailey castle so a wooden structure on a hill uh, later on a stone castle so uh, over the, the years basically they, they made it uh, into a stone castle um, unfortunately destroyed as i said on the 60th of march 1580 by sir william pelham an english knight uh, an english norman knight basically who came here um, in the Elizabethan times on behalf of the Queen of England, Elizabeth I. Elizabeth I wasn't too happy with um, the Fitzgeralds and the Desmonds or the, um, the Fitzgerald family weren't too happy with her. She wanted to um, have more control over Ireland. She wasn't happy that the Norman Knights in Ireland were very, very self-sufficient and doing basically what they wanted to do here. Um, so she um, settled lands in Munster, she sent English and Welsh people here to uh, take over the land. Um, of course the Fitzgeralds who had control here weren't very happy so they rebelled and they wanted to get rid of Elizabethan or English rule in Ireland. Um, unfortunately when uh, Sir William Pelham came here he couldn't find Thomas, um, sorry, he couldn't find uh, the Fitzgeralds. So basically he was looking around, couldn't find him and destroyed the castle and destroyed the abbey in Abbey Field to make sure they couldn't use it anymore. Um, yeah, good. Uh, that was kind of the, the height of the Desmond Rebellions. Uh, so the Desmond Rebellions basically uh, ended the 11th of November 1583. Gerald Fitzgerald wrote a letter to Queen Elizabeth. Uh, at that time, uh, 30,000 people had already died in Munster. Uh, at a time when there was not more than 100,000 people in Munster, probably. So a third of the population probably died. Um, big tragedy. Um, so he, Gerald Fitzgerald, the last Earl of Desmond, he wrote to Queen Fitzgerald asking for truce. He wanted an end to, um, to hostilities. And that letter was signed the 15th of April, uh, 1583, at Gerard Desmond. Um, so his name, Gerard Fitzgerald, or Earl of Desmond, Gerard, Earl of Desmond, came Garrett Desmond uh, signed in Abbey Field so probably at the monastery we don't know if he was at the monastery but that was the most important building in Abbey Field at the time so quite possibly in um, the remains of the monastery of course the monastery itself was destroyed in 1580 but um, there's some remnants left uh, unfortunately Queen Elizabeth wasn't too happy she didn't want the truce she wanted to go on uh, so a few months later, um, at a big battle, uh, probably in Belly McCallagher, just before Tralee. Tralee, of course, also being a big, um, a big Desmond structure. Belly McCallagher, the, the townland of McCallagher, um, another Gaelic Irish clan, the McCallagher's. Um, basically, at a battle, uh, 11 November 1583, uh, the last 
Earl of Desmond, Gerald Fitzgerald, was killed, uh, and that was the end of the Desmond Rebellions. Um, good job, make my way back to Abbey Field. Um, it's raining, uh, I don't know if you can see the rain in the video, but it's quite rainy, quite wet, so I'm gonna find a dry place and a cup of coffee. Bye bye.